Morris Classic Concepts, here's our instructional video to help you install your new three-point belt. The parts shown here are for that driver's side install. The parts in the kit will be doubled for the passenger side install as well. To begin, slide front seats to their forward most position and remove the rear seats. Next, remove the large stainless steel bracket marked driver side from the packaging and have by your side. Locate the existing bolts as shown here and after loosening, remove and lay aside. Take your driver side bracket and new bolts and align them directly with the original holes from before. After hand tightening, make sure the top of the bracket is in fact level. Continue to bolt it into position, tightening, recommended with a torque wrench, to SAE standards. Now move to the floorboards and remove the single bolt holding the existing lap belt into place. This is the same factory hole the reel will be installed next. While you're at this point, it would also be wise to remove the existing lap belt adjacent and remove and set aside. After removal, have the assigned bolts and washers ready and the reel ready. Find the same factory made mounting point and screw it back in. It is important to note that the reel is already pre-assembled with the bracket to the correct angle for your car model. Unfold the seatbelt to confirm that no twists are present. Locate your shoulder bolt and special lock nut, and after removing the plastic cover, screw in and tighten to the top of the mounting bracket with a recommended torque wrench as well. You may want to put down a fender cover work mat to protect your paint from accidental damage from the lock nut in these tight spaces. Move back down to the floor mount to recheck proper fit and to tighten again in case things have shifted during installation. Also, a reminder to check that the webbing of the belt should not be rubbing against the hub of the reel and should be extending and retracting smoothly. Double check all adjustments and make sure the latch plate is able to move as well. The top mount should swivel cleanly with no issues. Now we will move across the seat and install the female end. Locate the factory mounting hole we uninstalled the original belt from before and insert the coinciding bolt and washer and tighten per SAE standards. Be sure to adjust the fit nicely between the seat and console.
Slide the seat back and your installation is complete. The belt will fit nicely across your shoulder, not riding up too high on your neck or too low on your arm. Repeat these steps on the other side of your car and eventually reinstalling rear seats and all side panels. For more product information and help, visit www.morrisclassic.com. We appreciate you watching and drive safely.